So this episode we're going to touch on our rear speaker pods for the transporter, the auto finesse, ultimate detailing van and a comparison on two headliners. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, we're now into 2024, for of a name like plush and covered, so, we get, so it gives it a bit of a consistency. Each video we're going to maybe just touch on two or three sort of points that are going in, in into the workshop this week or projects we've got going on. So yeah, we invested in the sort of Peel 3D handheld 3D scanner. That, that allows us to get the perfect profile of the, I mean the, the van that we scanned was even carpet lined, so it's actually picked up the the, the texture of the carpet lining. But yeah, these fit perfectly up in, into the corners of the vehicle. Enhanced mid base, we, we've, we print these on a, a, a almost, almost solid construction. Ultimaker S5 printers. We've had these for about four years now. Um, although they are quite up to date, there is there's a lot more bigger printers. We're, we're aware of this, so this year again we might invest in a little bit more more up to date equipment. Um, but they're certainly doing the task. So yeah, we usually have a pair of these running, a pair of parts left and right. Uh, they take around two days each to print um, because of, again of the, the density that we're printing these on. Well, yes, we've designed numerous. Um, speaker baffles. I think this is just the way with technology and everything else is going. You know, back when I started the business, it was sort of MDF baffles. Whereas now, technology just design. This is just for a better OEM fit. You know, all the pods we design are uh, bolt in, bolt out, not affected with moisture, damp in the doors. Um, so it's a, it's a lot better solution. But we can go into this in a, in a different episode. This is more about touching on. Why our, why our speaker pods are, are what they are. Here's a set of our pods installed in, in a transporter. We've trimmed these to match the client's already trimmed van that he, he, he bought this done. You can have these pods trimmed or untrimmed, but there's no reason to, to unless it's a bespoke vehicle or a trader, we, we usually provide these these trimmed so when you when you receive them, if you if it's a self-fit, they're ready to go. They just you just mark them up, bolt them up. They're pointing in the right direction and they're profiled perfectly for the vehicle. We put a hell of a lot of time development. We use the premium materials. This is why these products are, are the best on the market. They're not, a, they're not a copy, a slight change, or you know, we, we are building these from the ground up. This is obviously an older project, but it's just it's great that people are tagging these on when they come in for builds. We're selling them online. I mean, we're, we're well over the 50, 60 plus mark now. People buying these to install in their own vehicles and we've had nothing but positive feedback. Pods are developed for a 165 mil speaker. We're a four master. We've dealt with Audison, Hertz and various other brands for, for, for years, since day dot now really, uh, 2006. We have a great relationship with them. It is our go-to, the Audison Voce coaxial. It's 165 mil. Obviously it will fit any 165 component. We actually developed these for the Voce because it has such a big basket on the back made sure there is enough space so they don't bottom out. You can buy grills, these will obviously fit fit grills and house grills as well. So you know kids or you know loading the back of the van they, they don't get damaged but that's speaker specific. Um, some some come with grills, some don't, some you have to add. Being into audio since sort of 2006 when we launched the business that was that was our core. So we can pair pair the audio for you with the pods. You don't just have to buy the pods and then go and search for an audio installer or someone who could advise you. We can obviously work work through, you know, not just the rear speakers. We can we can build you a complete system, and not just for a transporter. You know, we started this business fitting audio, so we're super proud of these pods and the development and everything. Just just creating a product. We've done this with numerous products. 
where we've built from the ground up. So, I mean, any questions or you want to know a little bit more about them, just drop us an email, a DM on various social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, and we'll, we'll try and answer what, what we can for you. Say, traders, just, just get in touch. You know, we're happy to provide this. This is going to make the industry and the vehicles out there better. So you might have noticed, we, we've chose this vehicle. This vehicle, we we did we did a YouTube on it in, in 2023. It's now back with us for that second phase. If you've watched that video, we had to get it ready for, for the guy's wedding. It's now back with us. So this is probably why we're touching again. He, he's had a lot of products that we currently do and have developed in this vehicle. So it's just a perfect video to retouch. The headliner, I don't know if the headliner was completely finished in the last YouTube, but, but yeah, the headliner is now, now completely finished. And we've obviously got the, the other van as well. So it's, it's more, this, this part of it is to show off, I guess, what, what we're capable of. Build, we don't really build the standard sort of projects here you know we've got a very very good team we've got you know with with equipment and creativity so this headline has got multiple details and challenge challenges trying to deal with the curvature of the vehicle so not only does it, it does it curve this way it, it does it does it might not look a lot but it does curve um, lengthways as well down the vehicle so you know getting acrylic um, and various other substrates to to curve and and fix up and also have open open window apertures it did prove quite a challenge it might it might not look a lot but it was a fun project um and then this one had a sunroof to just throw a, another curveball in as well which you know that's that's another story but yeah the lads have, have worked well to to get this all looking as as it as it does um which is why we want to touch you know the project's here it's going to be here for a while so if anyone wants to come and have a demo listen to the audio see see the headliner in, in the in the flesh um just 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 again book book an appointment come down we can show you various things on this vehicle working this is not you, your average headliner this is still quite quite up there but in regards to lighting and stuff it's quite subtle i know the mandala but it, it seems to blend and again especially when we've we've finished the rest of the vehicle uh it, it will make more sense then but yeah we've got this this type of headline i mean we can create these we've got starlights in our van you know we this is this is the idea of plush is is we're a bespoke shop we we can make your ideas you know more than more often than not become reality this is this is one style of headliner and then we can get on to get onto the other one which is just maybe still a custom headliner different end of the spectrum a lot more illumination custom lighting and no sunroof to deal with so these lights are, 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 are pretty bright it definitely creates a creates a mood i mean there's, there's so much control over lights in here we can just go straight straight colors they you can obviously dim them down as well they don't have to be as bright as, as bright as they were so that's just i think when this vehicle is complete and it's actually on the move and the idea of the four seats and everything i think it I, i'd have this vehicle myself yeah so we've had like a, a bit of free reign like when we first started this project i just wanted to create these panels in in white so it's like almost like a, a, a daylight kind of Feel. We gave the client the option for the for the pixel tape and, and then the white, and he, he wanted to go all out. Uh, so it, it allowed us the, op the option to create this sort of motion in the in the ceiling, which which now seeing it done is is is, is great. You know, it adds a lot more interest, and especially you know seeing this at shows is 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 is, is going to be quite a proud proud moment for probably the owner of the vehicle and, and ourselves. You know. We, we've been able to create something that's pretty special. I've touched on it in other videos and posts, I think, of just trying to get understanding LED and getting light transfer across a whole panel is is a puzzle in itself. That that took a lot of work. It can build you a standard halo headliner. You know, the guys could probably do that in their sleep, but this kind of stuff is what you're not getting elsewhere. You know, there's, there's, there's various feedback, you know, ne maybe negative comments, depends on how you look at them, asking, why what's the point why why do you want to do that i presume most of you are watching this channel because you're into modifications and, and and changing your vehicle you know everyone has a different perspective on or or outlook or budget or style you know that's that's why 
you know, we don't all walk around in the same trainers or the same clothes or we drive the same vehicles. We all have our own independent needs and wants in life. So, and we're just grateful that you're choosing us to be able to create that. I think this is this is great. Would I, if I own the vehicle, I might not drive around with it on every day, but you are going to have them times where this is this is on. I don't believe that this this client is doing it for clout. He, he, he's creating something that he can make memories with his friends and family. In. We're going to touch on the uh, auto finesse detailing vehicle now. They wanted the ultimate detailing van, another transporter. This is three transporters, all completely different. So going back to why why do you do this? Because they've all got different sort of goals and uses for the vehicle you know and we're just proud to be able to adapt and use our skill sets to produce three totally different vehicles for totally different uses so that's these two vehicles so let's go and check out the ultimate detailing van for auto finesse instantly. Project managing, running the shop a bit more now, so uh, helping me focus on the business rather than in the business. I can't say too much about what's going in it. The customer's going to want to open the doors first and see. Obviously, he wanted the gazebo. He, he wants to be able to. He wants the ultimate detailing van, basically. So we we have squeezed everything in, and now the list has got longer. So this is yeah, going to be a bit it, more of a head scratcher. It's, it's a full-on detailing van. Pressure washers, water tank, generators. This van can sit in the middle of a field and detail and get, cars and get the job done. Yeah. yeah. So that's a big, big <clears throat> gazebo and the idea is, you know, some, a single person can, it's can two load. It, it takes two people to lift it. <coughs> it's a two man lift. But the idea is that it can stand and just be laid down by one person and then slid into the van. Roll, roll it in. Yeah. So yeah, we've, we've, we've bought this, uh, I don't know, is it, is it like this food, like warehouse sort of roller system? This will be the party side, I guess, the, the display side. Well, it is functional as well. Yeah. More uh, of the show. The More show, show the project, uh, project, show the products. Detail, the litre bottles, the mixers. Yes. With everything's in hand. These have been bulked out yeah. to, to a solid base so they can, yeah. they can hang a product so on. So it'll just be quick, quick access, like, for the different ranges. Wheel cleaner, citrus spray, verso. This side, obviously, the business side. I guess this is where well, you can see the, the the gazebo the gazebo roller system that's boxed in here. We've already panelled this in. And we've, again, we made it just a, just little details rather than it all just be boxes and carpet. You know, you you can obviously see how how full or empty your tank is. Um, Whose idea was that? Um, I think, I think it was. I think it was mine. I'm going to take the credit for it. Take yeah, credit for that. Yeah. That's fallen cheese. <laughs> There's still a lot, of, lot to do in here. Yeah. Obviously, this is the, the, the Jenny. The generator. Yeah. Um, obviously, these get hot. So we, again, we've just made a template here. These are going to be like breather holes. But we'll, we, we do this on multiple projects. Again, with audio as well. When you're having a stealthy sort of install, we did it actually in the Connect. They actually had speakers and stuff behind the, the back wall. You like, you couldn't see anything. But it, the sound would um, transfer through. So yeah, this this is all going to be a sort of lasered or, or, or bored out, and then before we before we trim it, so it, it will be boxed in, but it will still be able to breathe and, and, and stay cool. We've also got ventilation at the back that runs down the side. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the Jenny, which is all going to be wired up, and that makes this van stand alone. Um, so they can, like I say, like Scott said pot that's in the centre of a field and and still everything's going to function. Um, there's a full range racking to be built uh, with all the bottles, um, the five litres. He says I am as much as me. <laughs> Hoover, which is massive. R2D2. Yeah. Again, top of the range. Yeah, Everything. we're running out of space. Yeah. 
from there's so for a, a long, lot yeah, of kit for a long still, wheelbase transporter. Yeah, still to go yeah, in. There'll be no more. There'll be no room. It just wants to look good but be functional as well. So it's, it's, it is proving quite quite a challenge. It's deviated slightly. Yes, but yesterday. Not, but not. <coughs> no, we, we've had a we've had a good brief from yeah. the start, but you just don't think the Hoover is going to be this big when most people's Hoovers like yeah. this big. So when products started arriving, and we don't have half the stuff yet after, yeah, yesterday, yeah. after yesterday's meeting. Yeah, a lot of stuff to a arrive. Lot of stuff, yeah. So this is why it's sort of it's not a standstill. We need to actually have physical product. Yeah. To to know where it's going. The Hoover was going here, and it and it. It still it just, will. It to, still fits. Yeah. But we we expected it to fit with ease until yeah. it arrived and we unboxed and it. We and it was it. like it was more look that it fit. And it's just little things like we were going to put the the, jet, the pressure washer up next to the tank, but then after yesterday's meeting, he said that they work look better lower down. Um, so okay. it's going. So it's going now behind the reel on the floor rather where, than up on the box next to the water tank where the Hoover was going to go. Where the Hoover so yeah. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's a, you know, it's a cool job to get straight into 2024 and, and work through. But yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the three the, long wheelbase transporters. This is your work van. You've got full on pleasure, and then you've got one that's an in between. It's still got the boots. Yes. Yeah. Still, can yeah, still got it load. Carries yeah. It's five seats and still got massive lug <coughs> luggage space. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So three different, completely different projects, vehicles, all ongoing. You might have seen them, I know we've put them on social media, you've seen them before. They just take a while to build when you go into this, this sort of level. Um, so yeah, stick around, we'll see you on the next one.